How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I want to thank everyone for the overwhelming response I got on this uh, Western Town video I just put out. Uh, everybody is sending me tons of suggestions and people seem to be really interested in this piano. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial, hopefully quick to show you how I built this piano. Now, you're going to need a few mods for this. Number one is place everywhere or place anywhere one of those mods um, because you're going to have to resize items and you're also going to need to have place anywhere or place everywhere in order to place the items exactly where you want them and maybe nudge them a little bit. Um, you're going to need also uh, creative clutter because that's where this desk is in the furniture section of creative clutter uh, under containers you've got this desk which is uh, perfect for this uh, a bookcase I got this one from do it yourself you can get a bookcase from USO or any any place else um, a table the long uh, rectangular table uh, this uh, I don't know what you call it it's a uh, what's that say ancient wall basically it's a museum piece from USO uh, I've got some coasters and drinks here I've got some floor mats and I have some pillows and in Crimson Rider's unique furniture is this secretary's desk, which you're going to need in order to make your settler to sit down and play his piano. So uh, let's start on this, and I'll show you what I've been doing. Now you got to shrink these pillows down, and I've been shrinking them down to right around 25%. So you take it, turn off your uh, surface snap or global collision, whichever you want to call it. See how it keeps doing that? You don't want it to do that. On place everywhere, it's called surface snap. On place anywhere, I think it's called global collision. But basically, well, before we do that, let's put our, let's put our piano pieces together. We'll turn this around turn on the surface snap just for a second here okay and then we'll put this right there now we can always get it the way we want it by nudging or whatever I'll nudge this a little bit and what I did with this uh, bookcase was I blew it up to a hundred and ten percent okay and then you can always raise or lower it if you want this one seems kind of tall it's wide enough now but it's too tall so what I'll do is lower it a little bit until it looks about right for a player piano and once I have that I'm going to take these pillows and you're going to use you're going to need a lot of these pillows uh, anywhere from 30 to maybe 36 pillows uh, and you're going to start placing them down until you get them in the position you want Oops, you know what, I forgot to change the, there we 
go. That might work. Hey, that's better. This is a very, very time consuming uh, process. So don't think you're going to get this piano built in five minutes. Uh, it's going to be more like an hour and five minutes if you're lucky. Uh, and then you keep placing them until you start getting a row of them. Okay. Now I'm not going to notice how they're not quite in line. Uh, you can, if you want, nudge them or whatever until you get them exactly where you want them. And once you do, move on to the next set. But I'll be back as soon as I finish putting these pillows in here and then we'll finish this build. Okay, as you can see I've got my pillows all placed and so now the white keys are done. We need to take these floor mats and shrink them down to 10%. And once they're shrunk down to 10%, where are we at here? There we are. Once they're shrunk down to 10%, we need to place them on every three keys, or actually two white keys between every one of these. It may take you a while to get these because if you mess up and you shrink, or if you lower them down too far, then you're going to have to remove your white keys in order to get to the black floor mat. So it, it's a tricky process here. Takes a while. So there's one. And I'm actually going to end up having to do 10 of these because I need to put a second one here. Once I get it where I want it, I can always rotate it and nudge it. So there's one black key. Then we'll put the next black key. We'll leave two white keys between each one. Now generally on a on a piano you'll find them that they have first two keys between and then only one key in between. But we're not gonna worry too much about spacing because it's not like anybody's actually going to play this uh, piano. It's going to look like someone is, but in reality nobody's going to be playing this piano, so we're not going to worry that the uh, keys are not in the proper positions. A piano player will notice it. Most other people will just look at it and say, hey, They've got a piano in their build. But it's time consuming getting them exactly where you want them. Okay. Now I'll finish this out and then I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, our piano keys are all put together and the piano is pretty much done. Now, let's shrink this down. Oh, we're going to shrink it down to... a size which looks good. Let's see. Shrink it down a hair more. That looks pretty good right there. And we'll just kind of bury it in there a little bit so that it doesn't look too thick. That way it'll look sort of like uh, 
sheet music. Okay. Now these coasters I will be using to hide this. Because what we're going to do with this, let's shrink this down until it's really tiny. Oops. I think I'm shrinking the wrong thing here. There we go. Okay, looks like that's as small as we can get it. Let's see. So now, what do we do? We put this over here. Let's turn our global collision back on. Because we want to bring in a settler to play this piano. Okay, we're almost done now, so we'll get out of workshop mode. I'll go into the cheat terminal. Hopefully, uh, you all have a uh, cheat terminal. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait until you get a settler that wanders in. But if you have the cheat terminal, you can go in and spawn a settler. Now, once you spawn the settler, you can put him in clothes that, that you'd like him to be in. And then, assign him to his job. Okay, now let's assign him to this desk. And he doesn't know that the desk has been shrunk down to nothing. So he's going to sit down and start typing. And since he's sitting a little bit to the right, what I'll do is, I'll tell him to move over here for a minute. If he moves. Come over here. Out of the way. I hate unruly settlers. There we go. I'll move this to the left a little bit. And we'll let him go back to typing. And hopefully this time he'll be more in the center of the piano. There we go. So now let's shrink this down to about 35% or so, somewhere around there. Um, let's see, we'll try to get this the right size. That looks about right. So now he's got his piano bench. And I don't like the idea that that desk is sitting there. So we're going to put these drinks there. Let's blow them up just a hair. Turn off our global collision or surface snap, whichever you prefer. Now, if we get this in the right position, when people come over here, they just sort of notice drinks. So, when you shoot your video, you just put in some piano music, and there you go. You've got a player piano and someone to play the piano. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial. 
you did hit that like button, appreciate it when you do. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I put out new videos every week. Be sure to hit that notification bell. But I really want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next week.